goodness. <laughs> I thought I would make most of the way through my speech before I got all verklempt, but um, that's not going to happen. I'm just really, really grateful that I get to speak before Pinball Clemens. That's... <sighs> Thank you to everyone who's responsible for that. At events like this, we often start at the beginning. There's a good reason for that. Those early influences, those early days, really make a difference and, I think, form who we are going to be. I'd love to say that I had a grand master plan, but really it was just kind of a rough sketch. And uh, I was very fortunate. When one path opened, I took that. When a coach turned up, I followed him or her. And I was so lucky to have the most amazing training partners and the most wonderful competitors. From the very start, I loved what sport offered. Fun, friends, and a chance to discover who I could be. Overall, I'd say the key to my success as an athlete and my happiness as a human being comes from my community. It's the people who have stood by me, who've reached out to me, pushed me along when I was too tired, too lazy, or too distracted. To start with, I want to recognize my coaches for guiding me and figuring out how to help me be the very best me I could be. Particularly John Bales, who guided me in more than just my sport career. John has an uncanny way of not saying too much, but when he does say something, it is really important. I want to thank my training partners, teammates, and rivals who pushed me and challenged me with their skills and their strength. They inspired me to dig down deep and discover what I am and who I could be if I tried just a bit part harder. I want to thank particularly Anne, who you saw in the video, Hugh, Elizabeth, Denis, and my partner Alexandra. Finally, and I put this last because it's the hardest part to talk about, I want to thank my family, the ones I'm related to and the ones that are part of my family because we chose each other. Specifically, I want to thank my crazy-ass brother. <laughs> you didn't get to see how absolutely crazy he is, but he has done amazing, incredible things that I never even considered. And I certainly tortured him pretty seriously as a young child, but that is the job of a big sister, I'm just saying. I think you turned out amazing, and I'm going to take some credit for that. Of course, I want to thank my beautiful daughters, Sarah and Alexandru, Alexandra, <laughs> I'll get it right. <laughs> they made me realize that it's not all about me, and they have brought me more joy than any number of Olympic medals. And finally, of course, my amazing parents. No words can ever express how much they have done for me and how much gratitude I have in my heart for both of them. I, know, I hope that they are proud of what I have done and accomplished, and uh, I appreciate everything they've done for me. But in particular, the wonderful community that they created and brought me into. It really has served me so well throughout my life, and I know that Mom is looking down and smiling on us. Since getting the call that I was being inducted into the Hall of Fame, uh, it's been an incredible year of reflection, reconnecting, and celebrating. I want to thank everyone responsible, and especially Canadian Tire for their support. We couldn't do this and have the bare naked ladies here. And Marty. He doesn't come cheap. I know, he's expensive. No, not, not, not yeah. Yeah, yeah. So in closing, I'd like you to all create some kind of celebration of the people that have made a difference in your life. Don't wait. Do it now. Say thank you and share the amazing stories that make our community so rich. Thank you very much.